side of the ball. All right, Boston College quarterback Phil Jakovic. Jakovic is transferred. He's entered the inter, uh, entered the transfer portal. Fifty four hundred yards, twenty four games started, lost some games at the end of last year because he was hurt. He now has entered the transfer portal. Oregon State quarterback Chance Nolan has entered the portal. Started seventeen games for the Beavers. Uh, Iowa lost wide receiver. Job. Arlen Bruce, the fourth, enters the portal. So we get a quarterback, and he's gone. And then Allie Jennings, this is one of those guys. This is a, to like last year with some of the receivers that came from non-Power 5, if that's what's called. Allie Jennings, the third Old Dominion, 115 catches, 2,022 yards, 14 touchdowns the last couple of years, has also entered the transfer portal. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the show, I've got a top five about the transfer quarterbacks, but I'll, I'll just give you a thumbnail sketch on Phil Yurkovic at Boston College right off the bat. Um he was really good for them in, in 2020 and looked like he was really good in 2021. Had a freak hand injury, you know, one of the, like, hit off the guy's helmet. Couldn't play at the end of the year. Boston College's season this year was completely derailed by the fact that their entire offensive line, almost too deep, got injured. And they had defensive linemen who hadn't played offensive line since they were sophomores in high school and walk-ons as that offensive line. You mean line. Baylor in 2017? Yeah, kind of like kind of like that. They were just they were just a mess along the offensive line. Then he got injured this year. They found their quarterback of the future. I believe his name's Emmett Moreland, if I'm if I'm correct. Your is a good player and he's got a lot of he's a lot of, got a lot of skins on the wall as far as stats go. Uh, I he's gonna get he's gonna get a lot of heat. He was well thought of. He initially committed to Notre Dame, or he was at Notre Dame and transferred to BC. So we'll see. I think I think that's gonna be an interesting one uh, down the line. Yeah, I mean they absolutely limped to the finish line. I mean they they uh, you know had to face some top 10, 15 type teams, but they also you know dropped a game to UConn. At least that would have been more embarrassing in different years. But at least Jim Moore's got them on the the upswing. But uh, they really he really uh, closed the season on a on a you know kind of poor note but he does have a lot of experience he's me a sixth year guy third team as you mentioned that he'll have been on but he does have a lot of skins on the wall so that will be uh, enticing to some folks he got a bit of talent um, not the the sexiest quarterback in the market by any means but definitely a guy that will get some suitors drew pine notre dame enters the transfer portal yeah, that one, there'll be people hot after him. I mean, he was 8-2 and two as a starter this year for Notre Dame. And um, obviously, um, oh gosh, Craig, who's the guy that they lost at the beginning of the year? Tyler Buckner uh, is is coming back. So they they think highly of him. But I also think that Notre Dame will be in the in the market for someone, like I said yesterday, like Hudson Card. Um, I don't know about Phil Rukovic going back there, but I think they're in the market for a transfer quarterback as well. Yeah, I mean, they won some big games with him, but it wasn't because of him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was like he was – it's like, oh, he was – such and such against top 25 teams is like, yeah, let's analyze that a bit more. I mean, he's a fine player, but they could definitely upgrade there. And I think that that was something that uh, if you look around it, like who could most benefit from a quarterback in the transfer portal? I think Notre Dame's got to be right there near the top of the list, right? I mean, in terms of kind of what separated them from perhaps being greater than they, they were uh, was, was certainly some of Drew Pine's play. So, uh, yeah, uh, Notre Dame will, will be an enticing landing spot and certainly has a lot to offer, but this doesn't come as much of a surprise because that was a point of frustration for them uh, throughout the year. G.J. Kenny official got a, a press release today.